Darth Vader has always tried to differentiate himself from Anakin Skywalker. He wanted to leave Anakin dead and Darth Vader as a completely different being. Today, we're going to take a look at how he did that in his own thoughts. We're going to go over some excerpts from Timothy Zahn's 2018 Thrawn Alliances, where the Emperor sends Thrawn and Vader to investigate a disturbance on the same planet that Thrawn and Anakin worked together on during the Clone Wars. Darth Vader and Thrawn board a freighter and leave the ISD Chimera bound for the planet Batuu, the very same planet that Thrawn and Anakin worked together on so long ago. As they approach the landing zone in the town Black Spire, they both take in the environment and see how it hasn't changed too much. This excerpt reads, Black Spire hadn't changed much since the Jedi had last been here, Vader noted as he brought the freighter in toward the landing field nestled into the forest three kilometers west of the settlement. Here we see that even in Vader's own thoughts, he tries to put out the flame that is Anakin Skywalker inside him, even going so far as not using his real name, Anakin. In another excerpt, it reads, Vader eyed the display, a whisper of interest tugging at him despite himself. Though unlikely to have a direct bearing on their search, it echoed back to the Jedi's memories of his time here. Another excerpt reads, Reflected in the decorative brasswork were the distorted images of ten Darshi as they moved quietly around behind him and Thrawn into flanking attack positions. During the Clone Wars, the Jedi had seen many such attacks from the Separatist forces. Vader has always tried his best to kill Anakin in his mind, but he's never really successful. In this novel, and in many other places, Anakin is always inside, so much so that sometimes Anakin actually rises to the surface above Vader, but Vader always fights back, until Anakin's redemption in Return of the Jedi. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for more nerdy content just like this, check out my theory on where Thrawn and Ezra are, and as always, until next time, may the Force be with you.